What's good everybody? This is Maniac from Internet Money and today I'm going to show you how to create your own 808s. I'm working in FL Studio today and I'm going to be using a plugin called Citrus. Now you can apply this technique using any other synthesizer but I'm using Citrus because it's real simple to use especially if you're starting out. So I went ahead and selected a default preset which is basically a sign bass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the main tab and just bring the pitch all the way down. Then I'm going to go into the first oscillator and bring the frequency ratio down to 1. So we're back to that deep sine bass sound. Now creating 808s is all about how you adjust these things called LFOs which are low frequency oscillators they're basically adjustable waveforms so you can take these knobs and, sh and shape them and create any sound the possibilities are literally limitless so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this volume tab activate this first envelope and I'm gonna bring this one all the way up I'm gonna delete that one delete this bottom one and bring this one all the way down so when I play a note it kind of cuts off. We don't have that extended sine bass sound. Next I'm going to go into this pitch tab and do the same exact thing. Bring this up. Oops. You want to delete that. Delete this bottom one. But you want to leave this last one up because what this does, it controls how dull you want the 808 to be. So if I extend this all the way out and I play a note you kind of see the 808 slides a little bit and you don't want that so I'm just gonna bring this up to about right here about right there that sounds pretty good and uh, I'm just gonna add a little distortion to it Once you got your 808 created in the synthesizer, you want to turn it into an actual waveform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to a mixer channel and open up an audio editor. Uh, I'm going to use Edison, which is the stock audio editor in uh, FL Studio. So once you got your, uh, your uh, 808 created and your synthesizer mapped to a uh, insert in the mixer, you just want to play a note to double check that it's inside the mixer channel as you can see it's right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record what I created in the synthesizer into the audio editor and create it into an actual waveform so I'm gonna click record and just play a note and now we got our 808 sample inside of Edison so when we play it Boom. Now, I'm just going to make some adjustments. I'm going to cut all this junk out in the front. You want to cut as much emptiness as possible. Control X. And then you want to do the same thing at the end. Anything that's flat, you can cut out. So when I play it, there we go. Now I'm just going to bring this into the step sequencer and I'm gonna map it to channel 2 in the mixer channel I'm just gonna cut this so it doesn't clash with each other and you can uh, mix it a little bit if you want to no, not delay. Add a EQ, cut some of the high end. We can add some uh, distortion to it. Then 
you can add a compressor just to kind of balance it out. I'm going to put it at a 2 1 ratio. About 2 1. If I can get it to. I'm gonna, we're just going to have it this uh, 2 2 for now. You want to set a low attack. I'm going to set the threshold to about negative 4 dB. Negative 4.7 will do. And just set the gain up to about. And that's pretty much it, how you create your own 808. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the comment section, just write what you guys want to learn next in this sound design series, and I will be sure to work on it. And uh, peace out. Thank you.